Yo, I done mafia. Talk me, I talk you, I'm in a business, you know. Oh. What am I afraid of? New one. Freedom of speech. Two years for thief, 74 million. Two years for thief, 74 million. We not stop trying until we get the slide. We not stop trying. You want me to be satisfied. Welcome to Live Foot TV at the right place. So let's go, don't go nowhere. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. Bless the love and greetings, my viewers and subscribers, kings and queens, lion and lioness, big up on yourself. Welcome to Lion Foot TV and other man of peace. It's obviously a blessed Friday, the 28th of June. The, the, the month will end soon. See? Big up everybody, anyone with that, all the love and blessings, you know. Yes, man. Big up yourself. Dan Mafia, legendary song you're singing, you know, we can freedom of speech. Viewers and subscribers, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. I don't know where Andrew Oles broke at that boat. Yeah, Zimmy, but anyway, in this vlog, yeah, we see it go viral and spiral, and a lot of people are talking about it. Um, the lady who stole 74 pint mash million, you know what I mean, and only got two years. Zin, and you know, Dan Mafia himself, he, he was scammed off his money from his bank account early this year, I think. Yeah, and a lot of people, you know what I mean, even me experienced that. You see me and say, yeah. So, we're going to talk about that and, you know what I mean, uh, touch on a little piece of Andrew Oness when he must say, yo, I'm going to text um, drastic actions against social media users, content creators who are spreading false, false um, information and them thing there, is it? Yeah. So, don't forget to like and share the content, subscribe and click the bell. I also take out some more part from Serpy as well, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I'm not really a vulture, well, I'm part of the vulture squad. <laughs> We can myself DNR music, um, DNR news and reviews. He's doing a great job, you know what I mean? Yeah, as yes, he said, keep up the great work, brother, brother. And keep it real from the back of the field, same way, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Everybody sing freedom of speech. Everybody sing freedom of speech. None of them can't stop my fear from speech. Yes, man. So, Kadeen Thomas, the female NCB employee, sentenced to two years in prison for 74 million dollars and i mean fraud and she only got two years a lot of people we see that circulate on a lot of people touch on it touch on it and attack you know i mean i said john no, two years she got born for her two years and has come around and she could have off some of the money that stash off or maybe for payback somewhere i don't mean, you know you know what i mean but you know dan mafia also spoke about it you know dan mafia was recently scammed from his bank account from one of the scam of them online is it me mm, so dan mafia spoke uh, so them are people are not up keep them. Then uh, I'm glad the people I'm glad for two years and come out and spend their money. I'll know my guy and get back from my sugar you know. Turn my hand on with banking. You know. Yes man, I tell you some viewers and subscribers. It's really sad, you know. Um shake in the bank. Enough people in the bank a scam and I take people money and cannot give account where money missing and gone, you see me? Recently you a lady say she have a bank account and she left Jamaica and she have a certain amount of use some of money in it and for a while she eat crack bottom see nothing now going for her and you know what I mean and she never the, the bank account wasn't active for like a year or so but money loads of money in the bank account and when she go to Jamaica she can't money gone can't get cannot get account of it you see me I have the same situation experienced the same situation in 2007 you know what I mean yeah NCB, you see it, and I thought about this already, my personal experience, you know what I mean, yeah, so we know how um, the system stay and the government them, not really set an example, or make an example out of some of the, the people them, and when you scam people out of their hard working money, hard earned money, or you rap people, or you take people life, the sentence is them small, and a man and a woman you feel encouraged, you say, hey, if me get catch, I don't know if we could do a two year or a one year. You see me? And come back a road and they have the money to spend the same way while the people will lose their money. You know what I mean? I worry and I'm dead too, depressed. Lose them life, stress over it and dead. Because I know how to get them from scratch. I know how to recoup with them, with them last. You know what I mean? So it's sad, man, my viewers and subscribers. You see? But anyway, Sir P spoke on the matter. And you know, uh, I took out a little part of Serpy, please. Big up Serpy. 
That's what I say, yeah, man. When me say freedom of speech, when me say again freedom of speech, oh, freedom of speech. When them hear that one, you will a week, them a go week. Let's see if there's a precedence. Let's look at this one. Hanover couple. Let's see what them deal with with lot of scammers. Hanover couple sentence after pleading guilty to scamming charges. Frank Morris and Maxine Leslie from Hanover plead guilty. Morris was a plumber and Leslie was unemployed. So you can't use the holy seat of just two so big wig. These people are not big wigs. So let's see how they were sentenced when them plead guilty to scamming. So these couple therapy I talk about is a past case, you know what I mean? He has reverted to and just show you how the system set and, and the laws is not good enough because people are coming to see crimes and I get less sentence and, and it's because of the law that them set. Morris, that's the man, was sentenced to 12 months imprisonment and Leslie was sentenced to 9 months imprisonment. 12 months and 9 months at them sentence they get for scamming in the Iron Man. So the man got 12 months and his partner, the lady, got 9 months for scamming, you know? <laughs> he's a brush off that and come back around and come spend the money, is it? This is why I'm telling the sound, it does like complain, scamming, forging, white collar crime, all these things. The deterrent is low. The deterrent is no deterrent. A real talk, man. No justice, no deterrent. Because if I'm scammed, most millions from my account, and the person only get two years, me not gonna feel like no justice. Me get no justice, deterrent. So is it? Yeah, man. Because people start way up how much them can make versus worst case scenario, how much time them are gonna do. A man start thinking, well, let me think, if 100 million worst case, we go two years of prison. If enough people, that's an easy decision. Easy decision for anyone to make if they're a lawbreaker and a wrongdoer, a thief, you see me? Because if I do the crime and I know say, yeah, one year, six months, two years, easy. I can go prepare for the time. When I come out of the road, I know say, I have millions to spend the same way. You see me, I can go live a honest life, you know? Your leaders have not changed the law, have not made it any stricter, any harsher. So people that do them things here and I get low time and they know you are be nice. But you now make nice for the law change, but you claim so you so you're disgusted by these low sentences, but you don't demand them change. Yes, man, I read the people anywhere in the world. Nothing with us Jamaica, but I read the people. Make the government put them with them there. We vote for them, isn't it? So we have to stand for a change, isn't it? But some of us don't want that change. We just talk. Because as Mister Denki and Thief, two hundred million and worst case, then get catch first offense, guilty plea, less than two years, the back of the road. If you look at your screen right now, you will see in Ironman, this is the sentencing guideline for importing Diet Coke. If this one don't get my point across, nothing else will. And this one is very interesting. When I hear Serbi say Diet Coke, you know what matter. You see what I say? Yeah, man, listen. In Jamaica, the maximum sentence you can get importing diet coke is five years if you take it to trial and fight it the starting point is three years the usual range is two to three for first offense three to four for subsequent offenses if you plead guilty the usual starting point is 18 months so you say five years if you get catch with, with the diet coke a jamaica Five years max, nothing more. But if you plead guilty to it, I say yes, I mean, man. 18 months. <laughs> so I don't think it matter the quantity you get old with, held with, you know what I mean? But if America, England, any first world country, you know you slap with a bigger, longer time. Plus deportation. You see what I say? If you don't have no status in a country, but I tell you, say, it's wicked out there, man. And enough fear, these are the laws that set, you know what I mean? In a Jamaica. Remember, we are talking about diet coke. Hard stuff now. Five years is the maximum sentence. If you plead guilty 18 months, why wouldn't Ironman be a smuggler's paradise? 
Worst case scenario, you catch me. All me have to do is plead guilty. 18 months. There is no deterrent. Yes, my viewers and subscribers say, Wicked man say, KD and Willison, who got, who got two years enough for the 75 million that she took from out of the bank. You know what I mean? A slap on the wrist that she got bush after two years or less for good behavior and come out of the road. Forward back, is it? Wicked out the my viewers and subscribers. Let me know what y'all think. See, big up on yourself. I remember, if you go check out that Mafia song, Freedom of Speech, produced by me. Is it? Yes, man. Big up yourself, Dan Mafia. Yo, a Dan Mafia. Talk me a talk, you know, in a business, you know. Oh. What am I afraid of? New one. Freedom of speech. Everybody sing. Freedom of speech. Everybody sing. Freedom of speech. None of them can stop Mafia from speech. If we really want crime fixed and certain things fixed, we know that demand it from the leaders. We can talk about politicians all day, but who put them in power? The Jamaican people deserve the leaders they get. Yeah man, rest of inspiration coming from I and I, I am Eric, you know?